All right, well, yeah, I'd like to think that. What are you thinking about in terms of like a deal? Because I know you especially, bro, we've seen you selling CDs up and down the country. You know you've done that element of it. So do you think it is the best way to go? Like obviously the, the money's got to be right, but is it a direction you want to go Anyone in? Anyone doesn't want to deal with food, food. let's be honest. I mean, you can do your independent thing and be confident and be proud of it, but unless you're selling out arenas, like independent artists who do hip hop in America sell out arenas. Independent artists here do clubs. And you know, promoters probably say, oh, we want, we want to tax you for breathing air. We want to take a bit out for you know, drinking our water or looking at our women in the club. There's <laughs> always going to be a debate, isn't it? If you want to go for the rest of your life, then you want those businessmen that love the haggle, isn't it? Loves the, you know, loves the whole, but with deals, things are a bit easier. Even though there are stresses and attached to it, it still makes your life easier. I can write songs about thinking about finances. Do you know what I mean? I can write songs about thinking about, you know, wanting to go and deal with a promoter, do you know what I mean? Things are in place for you, so you know, no one's going to deal with food. Yeah, you want to deal with food. No, 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 why not? I mean, why shouldn't you be able to, to live off your talent and have your seed in the stores, do shows? Yeah, we, we, we want to deal, but our mentality is we don't just want to deal for getting the deal safe because I know people who have record deals and I can, you know, they're not in a, a better position for it. They've just signed a piece of paper, that's you that's know? That's Having a, having, a, having a record deal, we're still going to work as if we don't have one. And that's what's going to give us the advantage. Yeah. We might have a little marketing budget behind us, but no, we're still going to be out hustling, making the contacts, working as if we don't have one. Yeah, yeah. I love that, man. Well, I have a very honest opinion there, man. Cause, like, I do see people out there acting like what they, they wouldn't take a deal if it was shoved in their face. They're man. trying to crack deep down they would. They just want to seem like they have an alliance to the underground. But uh, what is the underground? Do you know what I mean? It's you and a bunch of other rappers. Yeah, about 50 bears in a room. Yeah, 50 <laughs> bears in a room rapping to themselves and we're all rappers. And, uh, so they're studying each other's flows and going, hmm, I'm going to come back with a better verse than you. And the thing is, with a lot of people, and what I've learned, I fell into that trap, like, yeah, underground all day, but a lot of these underground rappers got deals. They want, they're just on smaller labels. Right. Ain't no different. You know, someone like, you know, you've got Nature Sounds Records, you've got Baby Grand, you've got BBE, you've got Big Dada. They're on labels, it's just on a smaller, it's on a smaller level. So any, anybody who says they yeah, don't but have I don't deals. think, I think it's about the brothers who don't have deals, the ones who think having a deal is wrong. The ones who are talking about, they obviously sensible they're people. Narrow, I think they're narrow-minded people, man. I, mean, I will, Grand Central, Grand Central, I deal. That's it, man. Well, yeah, man, we always like to ask people if you can watch an individual, like, your biggest pleasure and pain in the game, man. Like, your biggest high and low in this, in this game, man. Not like a single moment, just the things that kind of keep you going and then the things that kind of make you want to forget about it sometimes. Alright, start off with the negative and end with the positive. Okay. The negative for me sometimes is just uh, people are so, they're thinking about everything but music. Okay. Like, I've spoken to DJs, where are you from? I'm from North East, oh, so you're not from East London? Who cares? Do you know what I mean? It's just a postcode, like, the, the negative is just people not listening to what you have to say or trying to put you in the box or you're that type of rapper or you're not you're you know i don't i don't it's just everything is just not to do with the music if you don't like my music that's fair enough it's not for everyone isn't it tomato tomato is you know but that's the negative part i think the positive part for me is when people react to the music like there's been times when we've been up in, i've woken up in the morning and it's just like can't be bothered to do this no more. Yeah. I'll get an email from someone who bought my album in America on iTunes. Like some some guy hit me up and said, "Look, man, your album was a soundtrack to my life." So wow. things like that, you just think, okay, if someone is listening, they give you that extra bit of juice just to keep going and, and to get better at what you're doing as well. Yeah, that's real, man. Wait, the negatives. Still, that's what he said. Just small-minded people automatically pigeonhole you and think because of that, the power that they have. They can, they can just basically, you know, choose which path they want you to go in or not. You know, certain DJs only play your music when a certain established DJ plays your song. They go, oh, sorry for blanking you all these years. I'll, I'll play it now. Do you know what I mean? And that's probably one of them. And then the positives, just knowing that there's people out there who, can, who, who actually listen. Do you know what I mean? People out there who. Like getting, going to Cardiff and getting stopped by someone who was my autograph and I'm like, I've never been to Cardiff in my life, do you know what I mean? Just just things like that that make you think, wow, like the hard work is paying off. There's people out there who, while you're having a shower, while you're drinking tea, are actually listening to your lyrics, your, your music, and actually debating about whether you're better than that person or that person. Just knowing that your name is flying about for what you chose to put out, that's, that's a beautiful thing, do you yeah. know what I mean? Definitely. Definitely. All right. Well, yeah. Can you give them like the last plug where to where to get the new stuff and where obviously the video is going to be coming soon. Very soon. See. Very soon. If you want to get in contact with us, 
we just launched our, our website so um no no more sending out links on twitter and facebook no more those days are over go to grandsensuallife.com we have a full blog on there you know he's crazy i'm smooth we write blogs about any and everything not just music um we've got our videos up there we've got photos uh, downloadable music grandcentrallife.com and we also have a twitter as well which is grandcentral123 but all these links are on our page so you can link us on facebook you can link us on youtube and you can link us on twitter as well grandcentrallife.com that's it there you go on there isn't it that's it all right so yeah like the, the title was the title of this the video again let them know um, call me anytime you like we're shooting two today call me anytime you like and baby you know yeah. and two or three videos by the way we've got yeah. a third video on the way yeah. then um also, the mixtape's called God Loves Riders Volume 1. You can get that soon from my website. As long as you go to grandcentrallife.com, you get all the information you need. Just subscribe to the menu list and we'll keep it updated. That's it. Alright, man. You know what you got to do to get all that info, man? Just sign up for another interview. DJ Wallace on the camera, Mr. 13, Grand Central. <laughs>